Today I'm going to do a short video on how I take our brand new hardwood salad doors and turn it into looking like this with stain. I had quite a few questions over on Instagram on what I used, how I do it. Um, I was nervous doing a DIY like this because if you mess it up, it could, there's only a few tips that you need to know to be able to stain and polyurethane the doors. But if you can get that down, you can buy all new doors and do it yourself. Um, each door, I would say, does approximately take about three hours between staining and clear coating. Um, and then of course I have to paint the door frames too. You need to sand it down a little bit. You always go with the grain. So this has grain going this way, this way, this way. So you need to stay with the grain. This one is a 220 block of sandpaper. And also, since we had already hung these doors and had the hardware on for a little bit, there is a little bit of grease um, from the hardware that we need to make sure we try and get off. And People have been touching the door, so we need to make sure any little fingerprints and stuff gets tried to sand that off. So it does, because it will come through the stain. So we really need to make sure we try and get off as much as we can. with these cotton rags that I picked up from Menards. Okay. okay. Just one. That's fine. I got one. Really get my door, you really gotta get in the mm -hmm. group. Okay, so I'm just about ready to start staining and these gloves are a current favorite. I use them in cleaning, but we use them a lot of when we do projects and stuff. So gloves, so your hands don't get stained. Always eye protection. These rag, these white rags, you can get a big bag at Menards or Lowe's, just in the painting section, you can find them. This is the wood stain that I love and use for our doors. And I also used it when my husband built the barn door. And then it's so important, um, respirator. When you lay it on 
you want to go with the grain. That's the biggest trick with stain. And you can't just let it drip like that or it'll stain. So if you get a drip, you have to wipe it up. You got to soak it in. already clear coated. Um, this side I'm going to come in and show you kind of the two main things I need to focus on is when I do this is I always go with the grain just like I did with I when I stained. Um, and then I always have to worry about when I'm doing like the edges when it leaks down because if not it'll look like getting too much glue. Because when you first put it on it's going to look like there's a bunch of bubbles in it, but as I'm, I get this section done and then I might work over here and as I can see that it's starting to dry, I just continue and wipe a couple clean finishes and it kind of pops those bubbles and then you don't, you know, you don't have a bunch of bubbles. But if you leave them when you get all the way done and it dries, it's going to have, you might see it, but it's also going to feel rough and not feel smooth. The other thing is I put a bunch, like there's some knots in the wood. Um, I just kind of pat to really get in there, just like the stain, I have to soak a little bit in there and then you can wipe it off. But I'm gonna show you quickly as I start. To 